Welcome. My name is DC Spensley. I'm one of the designers of the Lumen Prize 2020 virtual exhibition catalog presented by Leonardo. My collaborator was Gustavo Rincon on this project. And you'll notice that in front of us we have a, a fairly typical flat 2D website. This was deliberate because we wanted to make sure that people were oriented. People are fairly familiar with the web. Uh, 3D worlds, which, which this is, you'll see in a moment, can be, if you drop right into a 3D world, could be fairly disorienting. So if you scroll around on this, you can see that there are thumbnails to each of the artist pavilions as well as the lobby section. You can use these to navigate to the pavilions or the lobby or these text-based links on the bottom. A little bit of housekeeping here. Press, about, contact, and legal. So the first thing I'm going to do is encourage you when you go to leonardo.lumenprize.com is to join the mailing list so we can let you know about more of these types of events. So let's go to the lobby right now. I'll click on the Lumen Prize lobby. I'll just click right there on the huge thumbnail. And you'll notice that the screen is black in the background. You can see through it and see that there's something going on there. Uh, but let me just call your attention to this, this section right here that gives you navigation aids. It tells you about the WASD keys, which most gamers will be familiar with. And you can also use the arrow keys. If you want to turn down the experience a little bit, I recommend you turn it down a little bit. And make sure your system sound is turned on. You can also take a screenshot with the handy dandy screenshot button. And also navigate to any of the other pavilions. Also, I want to call your attention to the chat function. You can chat here, and in order for me to change my username, I can change my username to And so you'll see my username is changed here. Uh, then when you chat, it says who's chatting. And that's good for if you're in a group of people. So what I'll do now is I will click. And here it says always says escape to exit. So if you want to get back to this screen, just hit escape. So I'll click anywhere outside of these areas in the black area. And we'll drop down into the experience. And you'll notice. The first thing you'll notice is probably the sound, the, the expanse. And, and we've tried to create a, an interesting environment that does not compete with the amazing artists that we're calling attention to, that the, the Lumen Prize has been awarded to in, in 2020. So if you walk up to this area, this calls a little bit of attention here. On the left-hand side, you'll see these are some tips and tricks on how to move around and how to best enjoy this environment. Introducing things like the walk through the hex gates, if you'll notice behind us. These hexagons contain spheres, we call these hex gates, and those will transport you to various pavilions. Or, if you want to navigate, you can click the navigation kiosk, which we call the popsicle. And we're going to do a little bit of both of those. And here's a, a few more tips and tricks, just kind of explaining some of the finer details. So the first thing we're going to do is walk over here and visit Liliana Farber's exhibit. And what you do is you walk straight through this and you teleport or transport to the exhibit, to the pavilion, artist pavilion. So uh, I'll just click in the background. We'll drop down here and look at the ramp up to the Liliana Farber exhi exhibit. I'd like to point out that behind you, though, in case you want to navigate out of here, go to another artist pavilion. You can do that there. And you can also, uh, we reiterated our tips and tricks here just to make sure that if you're lost, that you have some guide. So we've arranged these into hexagonal pavilions for a lot of reasons. One in particular is there are more walls in an hexagonal pavilion and we wanted to be able to hang a lot of artwork here. So we're looking at Liliana Farber 
and f let's go to the about the artist in this the left hand you'll see this is a pattern in this in, in this effort the left hand hexagonal pavilion has a, a information about the artist a a Lumen Prize video of the artist speaking about themselves and their own work. And if you, and with, as with any of the videos in this experience, if you get closer, the audio this work kicks in here. And Island. you're able to see, or to see the video the and hear the video. And as you back away from it, you hear the video less. And that's because there's a lot of video in this environment, and we wouldn't want. To, to have any bleed from video to video. Also over here is a, an abstract. These are many storied artists. There's a lot of articles about these artists. Earlier work and written in Leonardo, published by Leonardo. You can access that information here by clicking on this. Also here's another Leonardo article and a, uh, the artist work statement. So if we exit here, we'll walk out this way, we can go into the, you can see the artwork. And what we've tried to do is tread the line between exhibition and documentation. So in, in this case, Liliana has pages from sea captains, their discoveries of islands, and her work deals with the creation of uh, these islands using Google Earth and an algorithm um, that allows her to create these unique islands that don't necessarily exist in real life uh, in the physical world, but they do in in Liliana Liliana's uh, world. Each of these has a location and some stories involved there. So this is what we'll be doing. We'll be visiting each of the artist pavilions and uh, taking a look at what we have here. In this case, Liliana's work is kind of born digital, so this is more of the exhibition style than the, than the documentation. And you'll see uh, there's a gradient of documentation versus exhibition in this situation. And let's say that you had walked through the wall here. You can walk through the walls. You'll see that we've created a an easy way to get you back to the Lumen Prize lobby. And let's do that right now. Let's walk through there. So I'm going to drop down into the Lumen Prize lobby and we're going to we won't take a jump gate this time. What we'll do is we have plenty of options. We could take a jump gate to any one of these or a hex gate, or we could click on the popsicle and go to those artists. We could also hit the escape key. This is what we'll do this time. We'll hit the escape key and visit Julieta Gill. Julieta Gill is the Lumen Prize 2020 Gold Award winner this year. And we'll walk up to Julieta's exhibit. Uh, and and we'll skip the biographical information for the moment and just go just look at the artwork. Julieta's intervention into a a colonialist monument in Mexico, Mexico City, during a protest, a feminist protest. And what Julieta has done as is give voice to to the the women who were in the protest who, for the first time in the history of this monument, intervened and, and added their voices to it. Now, uh, Julieta also made a 3D model that's a little bit higher bandwidth. What we wanted to do is give that a place where people can make a choice to go to that and see that higher bandwidth version. Let's take a look at that now. It takes a little bit longer to load, but we'll get there. All right, here we are. You'll notice Noesta uh, Victoria is in in the round, a 3D model that 
that uh, Halia took created and that you can actually go inside of this and inhabit this model which I, I find fairly fascinating and if we want to get back to Julieta's main exhibit well, we just click on this What we'll do here is, uh, since we've already seen this, we'll go back and we'll select another artist here with the look at the popsicle, and we'll go to Soren Krag, the Nordic Award winner this year. We'll walk up on the Soren Krag exhibit, and you'll notice in the center of this is a, a video cube of sorts that you can get inside. The audio starts up and you get close to it. This is a, a jacquard loom. And uh, the, the jacquard loom is one of the first things that were ever programmed with punch cards. So, and this is the Born Digital variation. So the title of this piece is uh, Deux Mille Fleur. And uh, forgive my pronunciation. 2,000 flowers, and, that, and those 2,000 flowers are in these, this very simple format right here. These, uh, you'll notice this is a, a gallery view of the finished product. This is actually a real tapestry. And here are some, you can look at the details on the threads. And this is, I think, the digital file that was fed to, to guide the jacquard loom, which you see depicted here little another shot of that very industrial looking uh, creating this and it's I think this is much bigger than you might think interesting so uh, we'll move on and check out another artist let's see who let's go to Ellen Lagarnison and we'll drop into her experience her pavilion and the name of her piece is called Unbalance. There's a lot of uh, didactic information that talks about what Unbalance is about. You'll notice that the dancer has a rig on with tubes in the back that have small beads or small round particles and you can hear those when you get close to the videos now also you've, once again you've got the video in the round here that you can inhabit and kind of feel like you're stepping inside the experience And so let's go to Christian Leclerc. And Christian Leclerc likes to be referred to as Mio. So let's check out what Mio's got going here. His piece is called Helen. My understanding is that this is an aggregate of 3D geometry of many different sculptures uh, made into one and then eventually represented in this 3D object. Now we have, this is the actual 3D object that was used in the creation of a physical sculpture. Now in order to create, to use a CNC carving device, to you need this kind of 3D geometry you feed it to the CNC device, you give it a piece of marble, and it carves it into this into this object. Beautiful marble. I'm sure there's many polishing stages in this. And just an interesting transit from the digital to the physical. Now let's go to Tupac Martyr. Tori Studio. This is the Global South Award winner.
Tupac and Sartori Studios work is a an expansive theatrical piece, what I would call a mixed reality piece, and it's called The Cosmos Within Us. And one of the things we've done here is create these memory spheres. And each of these memory spheres puts you into kind of a dreamlike state. And the soundtrack along with these, it's actually separate from the spheres. And and another component for this, um, it was a much larger theatrical production. And they've broken off these vignettes. And you step on these, on these feet that show you the kind of the ultimate place to stand to get a good audio experience here. Um, and the exit the experience, there's also an information button here you roll over it and there's a little more helpful information it tells you to move in etc and there are two other vignettes that Tupac and team have shared with us here let's move on here to Casey Reese okay let's uh, this is Casey Reese experience. Pavilion. I understand that this is new work for Casey Reese. It's a collaboration with uh, Jan St. Werner uh, called Compressed Cinema. Casey Reese was very specific about viewing instruction from doing business with museums. He stipulated a model that we used for all of the viewing rooms in in, the, in this work in this website once again the information here you can get more information you can also step on the footprints and there you have a little compressed cinema and Casey is he has three pieces in this show once again another thing this, this is one of those things that's that treads the line between documentation and exhibition in this situation since it's born digital it might be more exhibition than documentation and let's walk through here and go back to the lobby briefly the popsicle and visit one more artist and this is Liu Wa who is the student artist award winner Liu Wa has a series of charcoal drawings that I'm not sure which came first the charcoal drawings or the video I would imagine that these are sketches for the for the video that actually is the work called Racing Thoughts. Oh, here's somebody. In the experience. Nice. And now we're going to move on to Richard Wiggin, who is in no particular order here. Richard Wiggin won the Interactive Prize this year. Probably the most challenging artwork to represent. The data visualization of different parts of the radio spectrum. came up with the idea to have the viewer walk through different spectra. And here we are, the maritime application spectra is 23 or 239.99 megahertz. Radar is 342 megahertz. Digital television, 
517.8 megahertz, and so on. And this gives the the viewer an idea, um, along with the soundtrack, of what uh, Richard Wiggins installation was about. And as you get to the end of it here, there's a, a link back to the beginning of his pavilion. And what we're going to do here, we're just going to go back to the lobby. So we go full circle. And so thank you so much and come visit Lumen Prize Virtual Exhibition Catalog at leonardo.lumenprize.com. Once again, my name is DC Spensley. Myself and Gustavo Rincon designed and built this space.